Let's get real for a moment. How often do you find yourself swiping for notifications or falling down the rabbit hole of social media when you should be getting stuff done? We've all been there, right? But focus is not some mystical thing that is only reserved for some select few. We can all cultivate it. And today I'm going to show you five mistakes that might be holding you back, along with some down to earth tips that will help you overcome them. Ever sat down to work on something and realized you have no idea where to start? Yeah been there done that but here's the thing without a clear plan it's so easy to be swept by distractions so let's flip the script i want you to do something today whether it's on your phone calendar or on a physical calendar i want you to write down your priorities for the next two days to begin with and then you can extrapolate and go for a week but let's start with two days and then just watch your focus muscles starting to flex just to expand on this having a plan isn't about setting vague goals it's more about breaking your task in actionable steps and scheduling dedicated time for each it's a little bit like following a navigation system when you have a roadmap it's less likely for you to wander off as you will follow the predetermined route you set for yourself when i plan my day like this it gives me a sense of purpose and direction making it much easier to stay on task even when temptations lurk. So mistake number one would be flying without a plan. You ever notice how destructions seem to creep in when you're feeling anxious or doubtful? It's like our brains go into survival mode, seeking refuge in mindless scrolling or busy work. And acknowledging those feelings is the first step to regaining control. And trust me when I say this, you're not alone. So mistake number two is not to trust your gut. To elaborate, emotions play a crucial role in our ability to focus. When we're anxious or stressed, our brain naturally craves relief, often leading us to seek for distractions in form of escapism. Hence, by tuning into our emotion, recognizing when we're overwhelmed, we can tackle or address the root cause of our distractions. It goes without saying, acknowledging our feelings will help us navigate them more effectively. Mistake number three is trying to do it all at once. Multitasking, we've all tried it, but let's be real, it usually ends in chaos. Our brains are just not wired to juggle a million things at once. So let's simplify. So focus on one thing at a time. Turn off your notifications and watch your brain's productivity soar. I've actually got a more in-depth video about multitasking and stop wasting your life away with it. So if you want to watch it, I will link it up here. Having spent more than a decade in the corporate world, multitasking has always been glorified as a sign of efficiency. But in reality, it's an absolute productivity killer. When we switch between different tasks, our brain needs time to refocus, leading to what psychologists call attention residue. This not only slows us down, but it also affects the quality of our work. So instead of glorifying multitasking, why don't we embarrass single tasking? By doing so, we give ourselves the gift of full attention, allowing us to focus and deep dive into one task and therefore produce higher quality work. Mistake number four is forgetting to take a breather. Now raise your hand if you've ever powered through work without taking a breather. Guilty as charged, right? But here's the thing. Breaks are not a luxury there are necessities so you better pencil in those moments of rest whether it's a small stroll around the block or five minutes meditation or just stepping away from your workplace will do the trick trust me your brain will thank you for it you always forget that breaks are not just about physical rest they are also about mental rejuvenation when we push ourselves to the limits without breaks our cognitive resources deplete leading to what we hear day in day out in the corporate world which is burnouts and diminishing focus so scheduling these little breaks we allow our brain to at least recharge for a moment so please don't underestimate the power of taking a breather it could literally be the key to unlocking your productivity and potential and mistake number five and i've said it in so many of my videos is neglecting your well-being listen Productivity isn't just about grinding away at work. It's also about taking care of yourself. Sleep, nutrition, exercise. These are the building blocks of focus and productivity. So prioritize your health. Get those Zs. Eat those veggies and just move your body. Trust me, it makes all the difference. We talked about our cognitive resources 
physical activity directly impacts our cognitive functions. When we skimp on sleep, fuel our bodies with junk food or neglect exercise, we are sabotaging ourselves, our ability to focus and to perform at our best. It goes without saying, but prioritizing our well-being, we are setting ourselves up for success both in work and in our private life. So make exercise a non-negotiable part of your routine yeah. but remember mastering focus really isn't about perfection it's about progress to so take it one step at a time and don't forget to cut yourself some slack you deserve it so thank you very much for hanging out with me today if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up helps me continue doing what i'm doing and bringing these videos out for you and i will see you in my next one peace out